Pretty nice out there on the reef, well in the shallows anyway. But, um, definitely should be able to find a kai out there. Yeah, there's my pack. I've never had my bag so packed up before. Like I could barely even get the fucking straps over here. Probably the first time I've ever carried a pillow or on a diving mission or, or going out to the, the bush or something. Never taken a pillow, so it should be pretty comfy tonight there, Charlie. Um, yeah, also I've, uh, last time I was out here, I left my weights out here and I just bring my weight belt out empty because i probably come out here about you know, six times in, the, in, a, in a year so I thought I'd leave some weights out here so I don't have to carry them because my weights are about 10 to 12 kilos um, and it's a bit of a mission walking all the way out here with all your gear, well, I can barely fit anything else in there 
especially you know, I've got a tent and sleeping bag, quite bulky things. Um, just another 10 or 12 kilos I don't have to carry every time I come out here. And I've got another weight belt at home from my other diving missions, so that uh, works quite well. Lightens the load a little bit for these missions out to the spot. Yeah. Took me about 45 minutes to get out here, so I'm just rearing to get out there into the water. I'll suit up, get in the water for a couple of hours, come back here, set my tent up, and uh, yeah, just get ready to kick back for the night and get some firewood and chill out, have a beer and unwind. Be awesome. So from memory, this little tussock bush here is where I stashed my chat. The old, uh, what are these things called? Those, oh, I found those out here last time. Crocs, some crocs there, mean. And then yeah, my weights. Here, yeah, the weights. Make sure I get them all. I want to get them all. Oh, yeah, and I stashed a um, water bottle out here. Can actually get fresh water that comes down one of the valleys, one of the gullies down here. Um, yeah, there's heaps of rubbish out here last time. Good to see there's none out here again. So I just saved one bottle. Um, didn't carry it out or burn it or anything. I just thought it'd be good to leave a bottle out here so and go down to that creek and um, get some fresh water. Oh yeah, lift your lift your leg, shave around your balls. Oh yes, out at the beach, eh? Whew, I don't think I was out there for a couple of hours, probably more like an hour. It's getting pretty cold, so I, well it's July now. But, um, yeah, that water temperature is well down. I'll show you my catch, just my catch bag there. Oh, there you go guys. Managed to get a little cray there as well, and he's just in. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven powers. I got ten power all up, but um, I put three back. They were just undersized, so trying to do the right thing. And that crayfish, he's just in, so it's been dinner tonight. I'm stoked about that. It's always a buzz getting a, a cray. Um, yeah, no, it's beautiful. The sun's just going down the hill behind me, and um, I need to get out of the suit chuck some warm gear on because I'm going to get cold uh, real quick. Spotted, uh, spotted this boat not too far off the reef. I wonder what they're up to. I wonder if it's a cray boat. Picking up pots or what. What flavour did you get bro? What sort of pour is that? Old cheeseburger. Go on, eat up. Hungry? Have a, have a feed, bro. Pie there, that's your dinner. Got another one here for you, too. What else you got here, bro? Oh, yeah, you got a uh, big taste steak cheese pie, eh? And have that one later on tonight. Gotta eat that one first. tent set up and just about to crack a cold one. Um, just been sitting here looking out at the ocean, just reflecting on a few things. Um, things have been pretty hectic lately for me. I've just been pretty hard out at work and had a bit of shit going on um, behind the scenes, uh, personally in that, but that's life. Eh? Everyone's battling through different things and challenges and that that life throws at them but it's uh, really nice to sort of um, take that time out spend a bit of time by yourself and yeah, just just come do something like this or go for a bushwalk or yeah go stay out in the bush for a night or go out to the beach go for a big long walk get some fresh air just clear your mind uh, it's really uh, this sort of stuff for me I need it eh? it's uh, really therapeutic and it just helps me just take on challenges in life stuff like that really good time to sort of just be still one thing I was thinking I haven't touched my phone all day so I've just gone three o'clock haven't been on my phone all day and um, it's been bloody good because how often 
are we on our phones? Always checking notifications of Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, text messages, phone calls, or hardly anyone actually rings anymore. It's all tap, tap, tap. Yeah. Do you guys realise um, the average human, they'll check their phone 150 times a day. Well, they'll pick their phone up 150 times a day. And that's just on average, but pretty crazy. You know, we're so connected with technology, social media. Sometimes, you know, you forget about being connected with your present surroundings. Um, I've been quite aware of this stuff for a number of years. Yeah, just, just um, gonna kick back and just really appreciate the small things. Just, yeah, just, just have appreciation for all the little things in life and things that I do have support and good people that are around me gratitude that's the word sometimes you just got to stop you know get out of the rush of your nine to five or your go 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 busy lifestyle and yeah take some time out it doesn't have to be a big holiday it can just be one night or a day out at the beach or a big walk in the bush or something it's um, really beneficial to your mental health physical health so, yeah me go get some firewood in a minute and uh, get this fire cranked up and sit back on a beer go look at the state of that face look at that nose of yours undershot jaw bro you can't be that hungry that Bloody cheeseburger pie is still sitting over there. That's been there for half an hour. There's some chips. Pringles? Oh, you want Pringles? But well, you don't want a cheeseburger pie. Oh, let's go get some firewood, babe. Yeah, that's probably about an hour and a half of burning there. This driftwood, uh, burns quite quickly. I'll go try find some bigger bits, some native or something. Right, here's our tinder for our fire. Just found that uh, that's like, that's just roots from grass, tussock grass, all dried. It's a bit of uh, seaweed there. And I found this bit of rubber. So this stuff burns like bloody lucifers so yeah they'll get our fire going just some smaller bits burn our rubbish at the same time eh bodies just getting the fire going and they've got those pieces of rubber in there smells like we're at a burnout comp oh, morning guys check that out that's a bit better than waking up in your bedroom eh Beautiful morning. The sun's just about to come up. A bit of a walk around the uh, coastline here. Go exploring. I'll um, get round. I want to get round to the Southern Reef. Never been round there before. I've got my suit and all my gear on my on my back. It's just coming off a high tide, but might not be the best for a dive. But I don't know. Jump in and find a nice little clean spot, a flat area. Nice little bay, never know, jump in, have a look. I've uh, I had a few power last night in the crayfish. 
Um, I really want to take 10 powers back home, so yeah, we'll try to get another few powers to get my quota. No, who knows, might be able to get another cray as well. Don't know if you don't go. That's probably still good. Looks like it. I'll take that home. That's where fresh water comes in there. Rubber. It's always a buzz walking along the beach. You always find all sorts of shit. Comment down below if anyone can tell me what that's from. Shot for the gloves, Logan. Turbo. Me, I work in a treat. Fuck mean brothers, that was an awesome dive. So I've been in the water for about two hours. The first, sort of first hour, was, water was quite dirty and tide was still a bit high. Um, still an hour away from uh, low tide, but look at this. Absolutely stunning now. The water just got calmer and flatter and cleaner. And um, yeah, that's when I started getting onto the little power beds and. I just caught, uh, I actually caught four crays all up. Four crays I put two back. One was um, a berry, had eggs. And then the other one, it was a male who was a bit small, but I got two nice bucks. I think that's what you call them, eh? I'll pull them out with my catch bag and show you. Got my um, limit of powers. Yeah, nice big powers too, so. Ah, that was uh, well worth going for another dive. Look at it, conditions are mint. Catch. Hey, I was. I mean, I, one of these males I had a pretty mean scrap with. This one, this fella, he's still fighting. Took off how many legs? About five legs. Fuck, he had a mean scrap, but I wasn't going to give up on him. So I got him. And uh, this was the last one. I just caught this before I come in. They liked it. So yeah, two males. So got some crayfish for tea tonight again. Crays on. It's always a buzz catching crays. Powers, man. These powers got the measure here. No well and measured everything up, got ten. See nice big powers. I can easily in. Yeah, chat. Pull all these out and I'll take a photo. Here we go guys. Pack's all loaded up. Bulging at the seams. Uh, yeah, just about to make my way out. Something I never mentioned in my video when I was out there, I was meant to talk about it but I forgot to bring it up, was that how going out on solo dives is... It's a buzz man. It's, um, it's pretty intimidating, eh? Like, for me, I've never been a strong swimmer or really been uh, keen on the water too much. I suppose it was because of my upbringing. The old man brought me up on the land in the bush and, you know, that that's where my main sort of skill base is at as far as hunting and gathering goes. I just sort of have to, to self-taught myself off the diving scene and um, no, I absolutely love getting out there, giving it a go. People say you shouldn't dive by yourself. It's... it's um, the wrong thing to do I understand where they're coming from but um, I just know not to push my limits um, keep it shallow keep it in around the rocks and that and um, obviously just dive in good conditions just watch your weather and that coming up leading up to your dive and yeah um, on my first dive I did feel a bit uncomfortable the first sort of 15 20 minutes I, I was fucking freaking out out there you know well not freaking out I was just took me a while to calm down and um, just um, yeah, just relax and start finding these powers and that. And when you actually achieve your little goals or things you set out to do, it's a massive achievement, man. And it just 
gives you more confidence to just do it again and maybe just push a little bit further. So, yeah, it's, um, yeah that second dive, I was, I was pretty calm and confident going into that one. And um, But, yeah, you know, when you're out there by yourself, you know, especially when you've walked a couple of hours around to a spot, it's to, you're on your own, uh, you got the big sea out there, and, you know, there's so many things that could go wrong. Um, but you just got to try... I just try to like block all that stuff out and just think everything's going to be fine and it's going to be car pie and and um, yeah but it definitely challenges me um, you know I when I go into the bush and that I never get worried I never get scared I don't fear the Nahiri at all but something about the Moana the sea uh, man I have so much respect for that place because it can just gobble you up just like that I always say a few words to myself before I jump in the water and just make sure tongue at all's, you know, watching over me and you know, just I just say a few words because fuck man, it's um it can be pretty daunting jumping out there by yourself and no one's there to have your back. So um nah, it's been mean. I've been growing my confidence out there in the water. And uh, like I say, I've never been a strong swimmer. I've always been pretty scared of the water actually and it's just a buzz for most people. Some people might think, fuck, that's out of it, bro. Like going into the bush, you know, walking around in the dark and making your way back to camp or going on missions out to the to the, to the the beach and camping out, doing solos. Like not too many people can handle being alone or doing things uh, solo. Um, you know, they'll, they'll find that quite fucking scary or daunting. But um, no, I, I, I get such a buzz off it, you know. Just pushing myself and yeah, just trying to gain more um, experience and and confidence doing things alone. Yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, that's two this week, so <laughs> pretty stoked about that. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll just see you very soon. I've been filming some stuff at the farm, so yeah, that'll be uh, the next vlog or next video will be me at the farm doing a few things so yeah i'll catch you then see you later